Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today's such an exciting day. Do you know what today is? It's my channel's birthday! I am officially one. I'm one on YouTube. That, guys, that's just the craziest, craziest thing in the world. My first video came out a year ago. I know I've changed quite a bit in this year, but that just like, that blows my mind. That seems like, like it was yesterday and it was a year ago. So that's crazy. So thank you for everyone who stuck around, around with me for a year. It was exciting. My channel's changed. I've changed. Thank you for sticking around. Yay. Today I wanted to do something different and exciting. Today I am going to bake a cake in celebration of this milestone. So. Um, for those of you who might know a little bit about me, you know that I have a weird, weird, weird obsession with red velvet. I love it. It's like the best. So today I am attempting to make red velvet cupcakes and I'm bringing you, YouTube, along with me. Let's get started. Need vegetable oil, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and one half cup of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of fine salt. One teaspoon of cocoa powder. One and a half cups of vegetable oil. One cup of buttermilk at room temperature. I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own buttermilk. Two tablespoons of red food coloring, or for me, since I'm out of it, I'm going to do pink. One teaspoon of white distilled vinegar. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Cream cheese frosting that I'm gonna show you how to do. And you can also do crushed pecans for a garnet. And for the cheese frosting, you're going to need a pound of cream cheese or just some cream cheese. I just do it by eye. Um, some powdered sugar, two or one sticks of butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's get started. So we have a slight probs. This is what's left of what I'm assuming is the vegetable oil. So that's kind of a problem. But, some apple cider vinegar, which you put in the other recipe. So I'm gonna do a little of that, and we'll hope that works. If you're in America, light your oven to 350. If you are everywhere else in the world, then you light it to 177, which I'm just gonna do 180. Ta-da! Oven is preheated and let's get started. Yay! These things are in. You're ready to go. Or does anyone else watch vlogs and then get the do 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 that literally like every YouTuber on the planet except for me uses. And then you just need to pour the flour into the bowl, like so. Then you need to repeat the step. To need to put in your one and a half cups of sugar. You need one of these. You need some sugar or sucre. Gonna take this thing and you're going to get all the sugar and transport it into here, like so. And then you're going to pour it into this bowl, like so. younger I really was obsessed with that ain't nobody got time for that video and I made my best friend watch it with me for an hour on repeat thank you for being in my life just thank you now you're going to need a teaspoon of baking soda and you're going to pour it into that bowl Now you're going to take your teaspoon of fine salt and put it in. Now we're going 
going to take your teaspoon of cocoa powder. Seriously, why is it only that much? That kind of bothers me. I'm gonna do another teaspoon. I'm gonna be a rebel. Gosh, are you okay? I'm sorry. I just dropped you an egg. How was that adventure, guys? <laughs> Did you like that nice tumble into the egg? My camera could have just died because it was dropped an egg. You're gonna whisk together the eggs like so. Like you're making an omelet. Now we're going I'm going to teach you how to do the buttermilk now. This is fun. So oh wait, it's a cup. You're gonna take your cup and you are going to fill the brim with lemon juice. So like just fill it to the brim, like the, the down brim. There's a layer of lemon juice basically. And then you're just going to put milk inside. Like that, and that's how you make buttermilk. And now that you add your buttermilk and your eggs, it should look something like that. We're going to do our one and a half cups of vegetable oil. I not the best mathematician, but I don't think this is one. Okay. Okay, so it's about one half. Want to see how it goes with just one half cup of oil in it instead of one and a half. Who knows? It might be good. Now we are going to take a tablespoon of our apple cider vinegar. And then pour it in that substance, which should now look fairly bubbly and potiony, like there is a witch. Now you just need to add your food coloring, which is a uh, neon purple. Actually, it's not pink; it's neon purple. Or pink, kind of. I'm gonna add in a lot more food coloring, but this is what it looks like. Yay! Now we're going to put it in the oven. Start. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to make the cream cheese frosting. First of all, our butter needs to be at room temperature, which is basically when you squeeze it, it's like meh. I am actually going to put my butter in the microwave for just a little longer, like 10 seconds. <laughs> on the low setting. That's what the butter should look like. Now we are going to get our fromage and we're going to somehow flip off the top. How do we do that stick? Keep stirring and adding until the consistency is pretty much like this. It sticks on the fork when you dash it around and it, and it tastes good.
for watching. Please subscribe to me. And thank you just for sticking around for a whole year. It's been great. Yeah, subscribe, like this video, and try this recipe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.